Welcome to meme breakdown number three. And I was actually kind of surprised at the feedback I got from this meme. And the meme, as you can see, is if a guy has feelings for a woman and they're not being reciprocated, and you're friends, that the guy should walk away. Because to not do so would be to disrespect himself. I kind of thought that was a straightforward thing. But no, 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 no. I got a lot of pushback from men and women both, honestly, in this situation. Now, to some women's credit, there were some women who agreed with me on this too. So it was a 50-50 split, and there were some guys that agreed, and there were also some guys that disagreed. But what I really learned from this whole thing was, women do not really care about the feelings of guys if they do not agree with those feelings. They think they're ridiculous, for lack of a better word. And they don't really have much patience for a man's struggle. Now, where I'll give those women, I'll give them this. If a guy winds up in this kind of scenario where he's quote-unquote friend-zoned, he did mess up along the way. He was either socially uncalibrated or weak or not direct enough to wind up in this scenario to begin with. A man who is on top of his game, who is strong and is socially calibrated, this kind of thing just doesn't happen. Like this whole situation would not arise because the guy is aware enough of the surroundings so that it's not going to happen. The strong, socially calibrated man, he's the one sex zoning women where women want more from him, but he doesn't want to commit to them. That is the friend zone for women honestly. But I would say the same suggestion and advice applies to women. If you're sleeping with a guy and you want more than that guy is willing to give, they should walk away as well. I do not think this just applies to men. No, no, no. This applies to men and women both. But I thought it was very interesting how the women who disagreed with me, and even the men who disagreed with me, how they framed the whole thing. The other small point I'll give the people who disagreed with me was, they would say, well, if you try dating from the beginning and they didn't like you back, then yes, walk away. And this speaks to the socially uncalibrated point because that guy was at least direct in the beginning and it just failed. But they're talking about if you're the guy and you develop a friendship with a woman and develop feelings during that friendship, or probably more than likely, they were just not confident enough to be direct in the beginning. And they had those feelings the whole time. They were attracted the whole time. But they said if a guy was a friend first and they developed feelings, then the guy would be a real piece of garbage to walk away if those feelings were not reciprocated. And I don't really believe that either. I think those kinds of scenarios for a man... The man has to take care of himself in his internal state. That's what I think. And ultimately, I think the reason to walk away in these scenarios is it's just not very good for a man to be around a woman that he is into, but she is not into him back. It gets the man used to that kind of thing being normal. And I think it could actually prevent the man from meeting new people. Now, some people said, well, if you continue to be friends with her, you might meet new women through her. But I would say it's more than likely if women see another man has kind of friend zoned a man, another woman has friend zoned a man, they're also more likely to friend zone them. But if there's women who see another woman find another man attractive, now that becomes more appealing. They call this social proof. And here's the other thing about the whole scenario. Like I said, there were some women who agreed with me on the matter, right? Women said, well, there's been guys that I was friends with and they tried to go out with me. They said they wanted more, but the woman wasn't into it. And they said the guy stuck around in the hopes that she would change her mind, but she wasn't changing her mind. And she said it made her very uncomfortable and they wished the guy would have walked away. And there was a bunch of women who agreed with me on this too. I don't want you to think, all women disagreed. They did not. There was a good 50-50 split. But the ones who disagreed with me, they had all sorts of negative things to say. And like I said, I think part of this is a strong, socially calibrated man 
doesn't wind up in this scenario. They're the ones doing the sex zoning. And I think that's kind of what they're picking up on a little bit. But here's what those women who disagreed with me, what they wanted to see happen. They said, if a guy has feelings and the woman doesn't return them, it's an opportunity for that guy to reframe the scenario, see her as just a friend, and that's king energy. That takes real strength to be able to do that. And I would say to them, I don't really think that's too realistic, honestly. I think some guys might try to deceive themselves into thinking they're strong enough to do that, but chances are they are not. Chances are it's more spiritual bypassing where they try to ignore how they're feeling. And sometimes I think ignoring how you feel has its benefits in other arenas, but not this one. Because I do agree courage is doing the right thing regardless of how you feel. I just don't think it's worth it in this scenario. But the other people said, oh, that's a very beta move, a feminine move, pathetic move. I would have nothing to say good about the guy who did that in this scenario. And it reiterated to me, they don't really care about the guy's struggle very much at all. They want the guy to be the strong guy, the strong socially calibrated guy. And if you're not that guy, tough luck to you. If you are already not that guy, the situations you wind up in, that's on you. Because let's face it here, most guys are not born being extremely socially calibrated, charismatic, and dominant. That is not the reality for most guys unless they are a natural. Most guys, including myself, have had to work on it. We've had to develop our skill sets. We've had to learn to practice radical self-respect. And it's a process. It's a process. And so for me right now in my own life, yeah, I don't get friend zoned anymore. It's just not a thing for me. I'm not, I'm socially calibrated enough to not make those kinds of blunders. But I've certainly made these kinds of blunders in the past. I can't deny it. I have. And I recognize it in other dudes where, yeah, they find themselves in these scenarios and chances are they should take a look in the mirror and figure out what exactly went wrong. Maybe they weren't direct enough. Maybe they tried to sneak in, do an end around and be the friend first when they should have been more direct. Or maybe they just weren't socially calibrated. But here's the thing. Once you wind up in that scenario, I think it's absolutely a strong thing to do to do what's best for yourself. I mean, who cares what the other people think at that point? Take care of your internal state first. Heal. Because, like I said, they want you to be able to flip on a dime and be able to reframe it instantly. But I do not think that's realistic. Let's fast forward the tapes with that. You're a guy, and you try to do that. And now you get to watch that girl date other dudes, sleep with other dudes... And you have to pretend that you don't care about that. You have to pretend that you're not jealous about that. And I don't think that's realistic. Why would a guy torture himself in that way? Now, they'll say, nope, that's, it's beta to think that way. It's weak and pathetic to think that way. And I don't agree. I think the strong thing to do at that point is to take care of yourself and to be very honest with yourself. No spiritual bypassing. Be very honest with yourself about what you want. And if you're not getting what you want out of it, do what's best for you. Just as I would say to a woman, if you're being sex zoned by a guy and you want more, do what's best for you. And some other women said, well, that says that the only valuable thing to a man in the relationship is sex. And it's like, no, not at all, guys and girls. I mean, I think people should be honest with themselves about it. But yeah, guys and girls can be friends. Often someone does catch feelings, though. I'll say that part, too. Often someone does. But I'm not saying that they can't be friends. I'm only saying that if one person wants more and they're not getting it from that person, to be honest with themselves and to do what's best for themselves in that scenario. And often that means walking away. Now, if a guy can truly be okay with it, instantly reframe it, not be jealous, not hope her other relationships don't work out. Okay, stay in that scenario. But let's face it, that is not the common scenario. That's a very rare scenario. And I'm only saying for the guy to do this if 
he has those kinds of feelings. If it's just another friend that's a girl, yeah, be friends with a girl. I don't really care. And so I'm only saying this when the guy actually wants more and actually has feelings, right? The other part of this is if the guy just wanted to hook up and he gets rejected, then that's whatever. That doesn't really matter. Like, he's not really into her that much. He just wanted to hook up. But if you actually care and had feelings, yes, do what's best for you in that scenario. That's not going to happen with a girl you really are just friends with, which goes against the narrative that this is all about sex, that the only thing women have to offer men is sex. No, but that's where they tried to pull it. They tried to pull it to that. They try to twist and pull the narrative to make it seem like, oh, the only value women have is sex. No, never did I say that. I'm only saying when a guy really cares about a girl and it's not being reciprocated, he needs to take care of himself. And I think to not do so is to disrespect yourself. Just the same that if a woman is sleeping with a guy and she wants more, but she continues doing it anyway, She is disrespecting herself too. I go both ways with this. This is not just a one-gendered thing. But like I said, the pushback I got was surprising. But when I listened to the pushback, it made more sense. And like I said, strong, socially calibrated men, they get the best of everything. And guys who are more socially uncalibrated, and maybe they're not as direct and maybe they're not as confident, they get the worst of everything. And women, they say all sorts of terrible things about you. Right? You're the weak, pathetic dude if you walk away and do what's best for yourself if you wind up being friend-zoned. Now, some women said, oh, I find it very puzzling that a man would even try to be friends with someone that they didn't find value in, right? and there'd be value outside of the sexual portion. And that's true, there is value outside of the sexual portion, but like I said, to me, part of radical self-respect is respecting your own feelings. And if you've wound up in that scenario, even though you did probably mess up to wind up in that scenario, you're in that scenario. Guess what? Men do mess up sometimes, right? And we're not always going to be the apex version of ourselves right away. we got to grow into that version. And if we've messed up, though, and we find ourselves there, we do got to do what's best for us. Doesn't mean you don't find value in that girl. Doesn't mean her only value to you was sex. It just means you're valuing your own internal state first and foremost. That's what it means. But to so many people, and men too, mind you, a lot of men were saying this is beta energy, this is ridiculous, this is absurd. And I say to them, hey... I do not really agree with that at all. It's, you got to do what's best for you sometimes. It's not about just the sexual piece. It's about doing what's best for your own internal landscape and not neglecting your own emotions and feelings. I didn't think that was so outlandish, but to a lot of people it really was. That, oh no, you need to be able to reframe it instantly, ignore any jealousies, and that's where the real growth is. And I would say more often than not, that person is lying to themselves that thinks they're able to do that. And also, maybe they want the other women to not lose the friends. Maybe they want them to get the, the resources, the favors or attention or whatever it is. Whatever it is, they did not care one bit about the guy's feelings. And if the guy has a boundary, they thought it was ridiculous. And this is something I see all the time, really, where... If a woman doesn't agree with a guy's boundaries or feelings, she does not care one bit about them. She thinks it's ridiculous, she thinks it's silly, and she thinks she doesn't have to obey or listen to it. I see this kind of thing with guys, or relationships, I should say, where there's a girl in the relationship, the guy doesn't want her talking to this guy because maybe they've hooked up before or something, but the girl thinks it's ridiculous, And so she lies to her boyfriend to continue talking to that other guy. And I think that's disrespectful too, honestly. If they were to ever find out about that, that's a breach of trust. A major breach of trust. But my point in bringing that up was, she doesn't agree with the boundary. She doesn't agree with his feelings. 
so she ignores them and she breaks the boundary. And of course, as usual, the other thing they'll say is, it's an insecure thing to do for a man to walk away if his feelings are not being reciprocated. And I do not think it's insecure. You're just being true to yourself. You're being true to your own internal landscapes. And again, a strong, socially calibrated man, he's emotionally independent. So the friend zoning thing is not a thing for the strong, socially calibrated man. He does the sex zoning. Let's not get it twisted. And perhaps that's all they are really meaning is that, yes, a strong man wouldn't even allow himself to be in that situation to begin with. And I do agree with that part. But like I said, not every man's going to be strong from the get. Men have to build up themselves. They have to turn into something. And they're not going to learn how to practice radical self-respect from the get. They got to grow. They got to develop. But often, women do not have too much patience for that. They do not have too much patience for a man's struggles and growth. And this meme here, I think, was a perfect illustration as to how they do not really care about the guy's struggle. Oh, you wind up in that scenario where you really care and it's not being reciprocated? Tough. You're weak or pathetic if you decide to leave. Oh, you're beta if you decide to leave. You're insecure if you decide to leave. Or you're only, you only see that girl's value as sex if you decide to leave. And you notice how it always goes all black or all white. There is no nuance there. And they would say, yep. And I, and I get what they're saying. To be in that situation to begin with, that's the problem. Right? Because the guy did mess up somewhere along the line. He was either not direct enough, not socially calibrated enough, or not confident enough. True. But we're all not going to be perfect from the get. We're going to wind up in some bad spots sometimes. So if we've messed up and we wind up in a bad spot, the right thing to do is not to continue making more blunders and to hurt ourselves more. The right thing is to do what's best for ourselves regardless of what other people think. So who cares if women think it's beta, insecure, pathetic, weak, feminine, oh, I'll know never to ask you for a relationship advice. Who cares? Anyone who cares too much about that is struggling with codependency, is struggling with my favorite expression, lions do not lose sleep over the opinion of sheep. We do what's best for us as men. That's what we got to do. And yes, like I said, I agree. It's not an ideal situation to be friend zoned. A guy at the top of his game, this will not happen because we are socially calibrated enough for it not to happen. But if we do wind up in this scenario, do what's best for you. Who cares what the rest of them say? And like I said, even a lot of guys were disagreeing with me on this one. Oh, I've, I neglected it and there's girls I hooked up with and it ended and I remained friends and it was great. I was like, okay, fine. Do what works for you, whatever it is. I'm just saying to a lot of the guys, be honest with yourself. Don't spiritually bypass. And if you do really want more in the scenario, I don't think it benefits you to stick around and try to pretend you don't. Because that's really what it is. It's being disingenuous and dishonest for you to stick around if you really want more. Right? And is that what women would rather have you do? Stick around and be disingenuous? No, they would rather have you be able to reframe it instantly, turn off your attraction, see them just as a friend, and be completely okay with that woman getting with other people, neglecting your jealousies, neglecting your internal state. And I just don't think that's realistic. I think maybe a small, small percentage of guys could do that. But if most guys are being honest with themselves, I do not think that's going to be very common. So again, to reiterate, not many women seem to care too much about a man's struggle to become the best version of himself. You'll get all sorts of name calling. You'll get all sorts of stuff. It's not easy, right? But when we do become the strong, socially calibrated man, we're the ones doing the friend zoning, right? And we're not allowing... Those situations just don't arise anymore. But I thought this meme was a great illustration of... How men and women both 
can see the feelings and boundaries of other men as ridiculous. And if they do not agree with them, they'll, give, they'll call you every name in the book. Insecure, jealous, weak, beta, pathetic, feminine, or you only value women for sex. They'll say everything if they do not agree with your boundary for yourself or you do what's best for yourself. Just remember this is how it can be if you're not a strong, socially calibrated dude. If you're not as confident, not as socially calibrated, you get the worst of everything, honestly. So that's my video for today. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Do you think I'm off base here? Do you agree with me? I would love to hear your thoughts. So thank you very much for watching.